YouTubers, uh, welcome back to my channel. Here's another beer review. The beer I have here is uh, not new at all. It's been out before and it was discontinued for a while. This is Deschutes Brewing out of Bend, Oregon. They're a Twilight Summer Ale. It's a summer seasonal. Pretty basic stuff right there. Nice, you know, um, yeah, cartoon background. I like it. The six pack of this cost about $8, I think. On the side here, says the profile is bright and crisp flavor like the freshest citrus easy drinking summer ale bottle condition it does say here in the bottle it's a limited release so maybe it's only going to be available this year and not again who knows here's what i was reading right there all that stuff The website does give some more information about it. Summer has its own rules, as luck would have it. It also has, <laughs> it also has its own beer, that's funny. This clever golden hued ale pours remarkably crisp and clean. A distinctive malt body complements a refreshing hop profile led by a heady dose of bold Amarillo hops. That says the malt is pale, carapils, crystal, and Munich. Pale malt is for uh, fermentable sugars, may have some uh, bread, cracker, dough flavors. Carapils, which is Carapilsner, that's for body and head retention. Crystal varies, and there's a number of them with all different flavors. They don't really say which one they use, so there's no way to know what flavor to expect. Munich, and that gives them maltiness. The hops they use are Northern Brewer, Amarillo, Cascade, and Tettinger. Northern Brewer gives some fruity, uh, citrusy, earthy notes. Amarillo, on uh, my palate at least, gives very fruity, usually uh, say an orange or citrusy flavor. Some people mention lemon. Cascade's known to be grapefruit. Tettinger could be a little earthy, spicy, floral. 38 IBU, 5% alcohol. What I am expecting are those flavors and maybe a little bit of fruity, uh, citrusy characteristic, medium to full body. This beer is considered a blonde ale. Light, uh, maybe malty, sweet, fruity. There's no one profile for it. Blonde ale should never be hot. They had to have either used some clarifying agents in it, such as Irish Moss or Whirl Flock or something. Um, I don't think they filter it, but in fact, they didn't filter if there's yeast in it. It is a nice medium golden color, maybe even a light copper color. The head has died down quite a bit. It was about, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch. It's died down to about eight inch now. I get a little bit of sweet maltiness, a little bit of fruit in there, just, just a touch of it. The citrus is a little more dominant now that I'm drying it in more. Heavier on the light body, lower on the medium body, kind of right in between. It opens up, but mostly sticks off my mouth. There's probably 80% at the top, very little on my tongue. There is maltiness in there a multi backbone, some candy sweets. I'm getting flavors from Crystal Malt in Munich. Judging by the color of this, they probably used a Crystal 10 or 20. Those Crystal Malts give a candy-like sweet flavor. Coats my mouth very nicely with that sweet, malty, citrus. All those tones are pretty well mixed in there together. I don't think one dominates another. I am getting citrus, but it's not enough to know which kind it is. Now, everybody's perception will be a little different. Now, we would get grapefruit, lemon, or tangerine. There's no hop bite or bitterness at all. It's 38 IBU for a blonde is pretty high. The crystal and the Munich offset pretty well. The sweetness is a little more pronounced at this point. Not thin and watery, but it's um, but it's not full of life either. It has a good amount of character to it. There's life in the beer. This is, to me, it's a fairly complex recipe. Four malts and four hops. It has a good amount of flavor to it. So 
sweetness, maltiness, citrus. Still covers mostly the roof of my mouth. Nothing falls off the back or sides. It just kind of lingers around my mouth for a little bit and then dissipates. What does stick around for a little bit is very pleasant. It's all the same flavors. I get the same flavors out of the bottle as I do the glass. I can't tell any difference between light and medium body and there's still no hot presence out of it. As with all Deschutes beers, there are no off flavors. Everything they make is good quality. I don't taste any uh, bad, you know, any rotten fruit, any fusel alcohols, no DMS, vegetables, um, chemical flavors, no mouth puckery, no diacetyl. There's nothing wrong with it. Will I buy it again? Absolutely. I love the flavor profile. I really like this beer. I think it's one of the better blonde summer beers out there. Will I recommend it? Yes, I would. This is a good full flavor blonde ale. The thing I like about Deschutes quality is when they tell you the flavors to expect, they're pretty dead on. You may not get them all, but you should get most of them. They have a long track record of brewing good quality beers. Deschutes Brewery, Bend, Oregon, Twilight Summer Ale. It does say up there, well you can't see it, but it says limited release right there. They brewed this years ago, discontinued it for a while. They brought back this year, 2018. If you have any comments, thoughts, suggestions, anything you want to pass on, send them my way. I'd like to read them. Nothing else for this review. I'm going to finish off this wonderful beer and uh, move on to something else. Cheers.